in a Bible story. I mean, we tell Bible stories, all right? So with me tonight, please welcome to the stage somebody to help me with tonight's Bible story, my very good friend. Welcome to the stage, Andrew Dale. Give it up for him, everybody. Oh, wow. There are a lot Andrew, of people. How's it going? Hi. It's good. Hi, how are you? Wow, well, this sure is thinking. awesome. There's, yeah. yeah. A lot, That's a lot my of people. shirt. There's a lot of people. All right. There. You see that guy's shirt? Yeah, it's, it's a good nice. Shirt. Okay. So, Andrew, right. you, ready? you ready to get this thing yeah, started? Yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. Yes. Okay, well, I'm going to need the book. So. Oh, yes. Sorry. Sorry. Okay. I'm really excited. Yes. Okay. I can tell. Okay. okay. All right. Our story takes place a long time ago. In fact, thousands of years ago. So, let's rewind all the way back to the time of Jonah. Jonah. Now, Jonah was a prophet, and his job was to tell people about God. But he didn't just do it in one place. I mean, he traveled all over. Jonah to tower. This is tower. Go ahead, Jonah. Mike, clear for takeoff. Jonah, you were clear for takeoff. Uh, <clears throat> Andrew, what, uh, what, was, what was that sound? Uh, you said Jonah traveled all over the place, so yes. he was flying away in a plane. Well, it was like Bible time, so they didn't really have planes back again. then, so we probably... They, no, Andrew, seriously, they didn't have planes back. back then. Andrew, okay, seriously. Well, hit the deck. Okay. okay, Andrew, will you just stop the plane, please? Will you... Andrew, will you stop the plane, please? Andrew, stop the plane right now. I need you to stop. Stop, 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 stop the plane. Look what you did. No, okay, no, they didn't have planes back then, man, okay? <sighs> Sorry. Nope. Oh, what about jetpacks? What? No. Hovercraft. No. Hoverboard. No, of course Submarine. not. Submarine. No, they, they didn't have any of that stuff, okay? They had, like, animals. They traveled around, like, camels and donkeys. Oh, oh. What about okay. a donkey cycle, huh? What? <laughs> 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 What was it's the exhaust? <laughs> okay. Let's get back on track, all right? One day, God told Jonah to go to a place called Nineveh. Nineveh, beautiful. Actually, it wasn't that great. It's terrible. Nineveh was full of really mean people. <sighs> the kind of people that worshiped idols. <sighs> who took what wasn't theirs. <laughs> Give me that. They even killed each other. I don't even want this. I'm gonna kill that guy. Oh. Oh man. Oh man. Okay. Okay. Good dog. Okay, let's, we'll get back on track. Whew, here we go. Jonah was afraid. He didn't want to go to Nineveh. The Bible says that he disobeyed God. He got in a boat and he sailed in the complete opposite direction. And at first, everything seemed fine. But then, suddenly, Jonah felt a slight gust of wind. Pastor Dan. No, no, like just regular wind, you know, like. Sorry. Okay. The wind began to pick up. It blew harder and harder. Waves started crashing into the side of the ship. Suddenly, Jonah found himself in the middle of a huge storm. He went to the captain and said, this is because of my disobedience. Throw me overboard and the storm will stop. So they went and they grabbed Jonah and they threw him over the side of the ship. He hit the water with a great splash. Cannonball. Jonah sunk towards the ocean floor. He 
was afraid he was gonna drown when suddenly the water around him began to rumble. He looked below and he saw the eyes of a great, big, giant whale. The whale swam towards Jonah and it swallowed him whole. Tastes like chicken. Now Jonah was trapped inside the belly of the great beast. It was hot and dark and slimy and it smelled like fish guts. Oh, gross, fish butts. Oh, um, fish guts. That's what I said, fish butts. Uh, okay, uh, okay, okay, how about this? Say fish. Fish. Now say guts. Guts. Okay, now put those together. Fish butts. Okay, it's close enough, all right. For three whole days, Jonah was in the belly of the whale. Finally, he did the right thing. He asked God to forgive him for being disobedient. The Bible says that when he prayed, this whale swam to the top of the sea and it spit him out. Oh, man. It stuck. Oh, uh. No, come on. I'm dying. You good? We're good. Okay. Jonah flew through the air and he landed on the shore. The whale turned around and swam back into the ocean. Bye, buddy. Hope you find your dad. <laughs> Jonah got up, he cleaned himself off, and he headed to Nineveh. When he arrived, he stood before the massive gates to the city. He raised up his hand, clenched his fist, and he banged on the door. The gate swung open, and Jonah found himself face to face with the wicked people of Nineveh. Uh, who's that slimy guy? Jonah began to preach to them, and instead of getting mad, they actually gave him a shot. Whoa! Oh, uh, no, 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 no. They didn't kill him. Like, they gave him a shot. Like, uh, they gave him a chance. Oh! Oh! Uh, I'm so sorry! Call a doctor! Okay. Jonah! Hey! Jonah! Don't okay. die on me! I'm gonna give him that to mouth. Okay. Uh, oh! Oh, he smells like fish butts. Oh. Okay. Because Jonah obeyed God's way, not only was he rescued from the whale, but all the people of Nineveh were saved. Ladies and gentlemen, will you give a big round of applause to the master of sound effects, Mr. Andrew Dale?